Last week, Human Rights Watch released its annual World Report in which it evaluates uh, human rights practices in more than 90 countries. But is the report a legitimate study of rights abuses or is it just an excuse to promote US policies abroad? Here are the facts. Over the years, several people who have worked for Human Rights Watch have had direct connections to the US government, including former CIA analysts, um, supporters of NATO bombing campaigns, and people tightly connected to US political parties. And it seems that these biases have had an impact on Human Rights Watch's reporting, especially when it comes to Latin America. For example, back in 2012, the group tried to block Venezuela's entry into the UN Human Rights Council, alleging that Caracas's human rights record does not live up to global standards. <laughs> Such language, however, has not been used to describe the United States government. I guess carrying out secret global assassination programs, um, having a CIA-run secret detention program, and illegally holding individuals at Guantanamo Bay is in line with global standards. Human Rights Watch likes to label Latin American governments at odds with Washington as authoritarian, but it's never used these labels against countries like, say, Colombia, a close US ally, which has been considered one of the worst human rights abuses on the continent. So if you do plan on reading Human Rights Watch's 2016 will report, I'd suggest you do it with a grain of salt and with the understanding that you're really reading a handbook on U.S. foreign policy.